so hello and welcome to another wet and gloomy spring day we're out on the banks of flushy meadows fishery and we're in search of carp on the short pole so in keeping with the recent blogs you join me on a sunday morning it's gray it's overcast there's most definitely a bit of rain about and yes i have got me brolly so a bit of sad news there was meant to be two boxes there today my little man Joshy was supposed to be coming with me and that was the plan just to bring him on here and get a few bites but he's woken up this morning and he isn't feeling 100% so he's stayed at home tucked up in bed and that'll be an adventure for another time. So I really have taken me time this morning setting up and picking the swim. I've had a drive around a couple of the pools and I've decided to set up on a nice little quiet corner here. The reason for it is this here. I'm planning on fishing just a short pole, maybe two or three sections of pole down the margins and this swim here obviously got plenty of features and then if you look down that way got a nice margin down there as well so while i've been setting up there's been plenty of signs of fish bubbling in the pool so it looks like there's a few active fish feeding and when i come places like this you can see a fish has just topped over there i am always positive you know with me feeding i've got two swims i'm going to be fishing in line with that third post right there you can see what is it three foot deep plan is to see how the day goes and if they will come into the really shallow water then i'm going to feed meat along these reeds here so the hope is just to literally get a couple of bites on a sunday morning and get a bit of elastic coming out the pole to get us through the week in work hopefully the weather does improve but fishing wise these are really good conditions it's not cold and overcast I'm going to feed that little nugget of micro pellet just lower that rig over the top but now it's just about reading how many fish that has attracted in and the impact I can already see a lot of movement on the float suggesting there's quite a few fish in the swim already and there we go there's the first fish of the day don't feel very big but it's a bite look at that absolute mint not a mark out of place and a great start to the session like in a lot of fishing it's all about working out what they want on the day and that's why i've not put too much bait in because it is about trying to work out what's going to work you can see there getting loads of little indications on the float but when it's one of these small carp we get the bite but we are getting lots of indications from little roach and look at that for a dumpy little tench and maybe it's these guys that are giving us the the little bites and the little dinks on the float and that is one of the reasons why i wanted to bring joshy on here you know because you get plenty of bites and you can catch loads of these little carp i'm sure when we bring him on he'll have a really good day hopefully down there where i've just put a bit of meat there's one or two bigger boys waiting What a lovely roach that is. Just coming on that change to maggot on that bit further outline. And yeah, again, with Joshy in mind. Imagine his face if he caught that today. doing now is literally just feeding maggots into the swim and these fish are right up in the water swirling for these free offerings and you know, in these venues there can be some nice silvers and you see there we've got a, a nice fish and it's all about just having fun and you know some people come on here and they're seeing fish for the carp all the time and there are some really nice roach and that in here as well you can see there we've got into a a nice fish just feeding maggots on that shallow line as you can see there they're excellent quality as well there's a lovely roach and you'd be well made up with that on a river or a lake so why not on a commercial
and that is one thing that I just love about this venue you can do whatever you really want with the place you know it's if you want to sit down the margin and wait for Mr Carp you can do that if you want to have loads of fun with the roach on top like we're doing now you can do that as well and then every so often you'll get a slightly better carp and like I say all about having fun a roach a chuck and then all of a sudden you see there the maggots hanging out of his lips Mr Carp turns up we're having plenty of fun out there just chucking maggots everywhere you've got to be really accurate with this line down here on this venue there is a ledge that goes all the way around the outside and then it drops off like most venues but you've got to be on top of that ledge so just dropping on that meat line on the edge the floats gone again with another one of these small little carp and as you can see there much better quality on that meat line you know it's a much heavier fish by just persevering on that inside line we've hooked into a a slightly better one and definitely pulling the elastic out which is what it's all about in it and sometimes when you see people on them you know they're in a rush to get the fish in and get on to the next one but for me it's all about just having fun growing up as a kid on the bridgewater canal if you caught one of them you'd have been proper made up and how times change you can now come on places like this and just catch one a chuck and now fishing for the silvers and the bream is something that I've never really done any blogs on, I don't think. So if you want to see it on the channel, leave it in the comments down below and we'll head onto the banks of the Bridgewater Canal and maybe even fish some of the swims that I fished as a kid. So I'm not one for really trying to raise a debate in the comments down below, but I have a feeling this will. I noticed a couple of tail patterns down there and a bit of movement and I've literally gone half my top kit down there. And we've managed to hook Mr. Barbel. So yeah, I imagine that's going to cause some controversy in the comments down below. Do you agree with it or not? By upping the feed and being a bit more positive, starting to get some of the proper carp now. That's probably the best one of the day so far. Again, look at the lovely colours, the yellows and the scale pattern. So one of the things I do love about fishing is when you make changes, and see the difference it makes. On a river it can be getting chub rather than days. And it is noticeable now by being a lot more positive, all the fish we're getting are carp. So after a bit of perseverance, we finally hooked one <laughs> down the margin. They've been coming in and getting away with it. And there's been a ghosty coming in all the time. And I think that is what we've hooked and as you can see there there's plenty of signs of them coming in and that's how it happens you know when they come in they come in in a big group and it just hasn't happened in the morning as the afternoons come on we've probably got about an hour of the session left they've finally rocked up and we've managed to hook one and it is all about wet lines and washing lines hopefully yeah he is mr ghosty and he has been getting away with it for the past half an hour most definitely but i've definitely been watching this guy come in get away with it and go back i've seen a lot of that tail in the last 15 minutes to half an hour but he's on the bank now let's get him straight back within this little pool there must be every shade of carp that there is we've had light ones dark ones scaly ones <laughs> and all types it's a beautiful little carp we started with one of these small carp and i think we're going to end with one hopefully in the weeks to come mr sunshine will come out um we can get you know some settled fishing and um, everywhere does wake up proper an example of it is really down there you know them carp were coming in you've caught one they weren't confidently feeding and they've spooked and haven't come back in. I'm looking forward to coming back on the pool next week with my little lad and we'll definitely blog it. And I think we'll try one of the other pools. All that remains now is to wish you all tight lines and washing lines for your fishing at the weekend. And I'll catch you all next week.